Four weeks away, we are back, finally, after a three and a half week delay. Select 2022 WWE is here, and we're ripping it right here on the channel, guys. Let's not waste any time. Here we go. Welcome back, everyone, to the channel, youtube.com slash Breaks. Referee Brandon Toll here. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me. We've been on hiatus again for another few weeks. Past couple months, guys, and I uh, will, I guess I owe it to you guys to get into this. First of all, thank you guys for supporting me and the channel. Uh, it's been a, a time of change the past few weeks. I've not said it publicly, but I will say it here publicly. Um, as of June 1st, I am full-time at RBI Crew 7 at the card shop. Full-time, 40 hours a week. So that has kind of become my new... Um, my new endeavor recently. So select, we got it here in front of us for this week. Select was supposed to be out like three and a half weeks ago. It should have been out right after series two, but unfortunately it wasn't. So I kind of put it on hold. I wanted to do select uh, from a baseball standpoint. Let's just go into it. There's not another good baseball release out. till around the second week of September, um, there are a lot of production issues and supply chain issues going on. Everything is getting pushed back. We should have had Chrome Baseball by this point, guys, but Chrome Baseball is not going to be out till Halloween now with Top's Finest being pushed back all the way to November. So it is um, just delays upon delays upon delays. So hopefully in August we'll start having, maybe next or in September we'll start having some good... Uh, some good baseball stuff to be able to feature here. Uh, I'm going to do a video on the complete set for Tops just because uh, they've got Torque Wit and um, J-Rod cards in it along with potential foil board options. So that'll be a short video. I'll do that one probably for now. I'll have that one out sometime next week. But um, Select 2022 WB Select today, guys. It is here. It is release day. We've got it. We're going to rip it. Uh, it's been a good morning so far. Um, I have already ripped two boxes this morning, one at the shop, one here at home. So I'll show you the fruits of that here in just, in just a second. Uh, in the meantime, guys, join me tonight on impact plus emergence live from Chicago stadium in Chicago, uh, suburban Cicero at 87 central on impact plus. And then tomorrow night, Saturday for the second city slam, two weeks of tapings impact plus. Uh, not Impact Plus, two weeks of tapings for Impact on Access TV. Uh, get your tickets. Join me both nights, tonight and tomorrow night in Chicago, guys. And then we'll be in Dallas two weeks from tonight. Back at the factory in Dallas, side of Hard to Kill, for two days of Impact on Access TV tapings at the factory. Tickets available for that, guys. Get your tickets for that. We are all on the road to Bound for Glory. Friday night, October the 7th from Albany, New York. Live on pay-per-view. Make your plans to join us there. So, and then the other announcement. I know we're getting a bunch out of the way, but we haven't seen each other in a little bit. So here's the announcement as of today. So starting Tuesday, noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central Time, I am debuting on Whatnot. Uh, I have separated from Loop as of just over a week, well, almost a week ago by the time this airs. Uh, I will go into that at a later date. I'm not going to waste my breath with them. But uh, I am moving to Whatnot, so check me out on Whatnot. I'm going to have Select with me. I'll have giveaways, and we're going to be doing some boxes, some pack ripping. So join me, noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, Tuesday and Thursday next week on Whatnot, on Whatnot, on the Zebra Breaks, Whatnot. And then we'll see what happens. We'll have some fun. But, yeah, everything you expect, we'll have some rips, some fire. So, yeah, please join me on Whatnot starting on Tuesday. All right, so Select. Price point on this is great. Around $200 a box. Two autos and a relic per box. Five cards per pack. 12 packs per box. So now, here's the thing with Select. Let's uh, let's kind of go into this. So Select, there's three types of cards you can pull from Select. There's Concourse, there's Premier Level, and then there is Ringside. Basically, the harder it is, harder to pull those cards as you're getting to Ringside. Ringside is basically the hardest thing you can pull. Concourse is like your base card, and then Premier Level is kind of your middle card in between. So within each one of those sets, there are parallels within each of those subsets. So for the set collectors or the rainbow collectors, there's a lot of meat on the bone here. But also, it's two autos and a relic for $200, like... Come on, guys. Like, this is no-brainer to me. This is why I've already ripped two boxes this morning. And it's only noon. So, but I did really good. So let's take a look here. And we'll, we'll kick uh, Select over here for the hot moment. So just to kind of give you an idea. So this is what the 
concourse looks like, basically what your base card is. Uh, this is a core Jade rookie. If you flip it over, you'll see it says concourse right here under the numbering. I want to make sure you guys can see that. So concourse right there. So here's what octagon side looks like. This is the hardest you can pull. And within that, you have silver and then your color parallels. So this is the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is a silver octagon side. This is one of the harder cards to hit. Because after this, you start getting into your color parallels uh, for each um, for each of these. So you'll see over where it says octagon, or sorry, ringside. Not octagon side, but ringside. Man, <laughs> I've opened a ton of UFC at the shop. Uh, UFC select. And so this is what really, really, really kind of got me into the feeling of, of saying octagon side. So my apologies, ringside concourse, premier level ringside. So we have a ringside Carmelo Hayes rookie from the, from NXT, the NXT North American champion. So we're gonna start seeing some color here. One box gave me not one, not two, not three, but four Sasha Banks parallels. They are all concourse, but a concourse silver hollow, Concourse tricolor, white to, to 99, 78 of 99, and a red to 249. That is 130 of 249. So now, bronze the chase. Obviously, he's the number one rookie. So concourse silver rookie. And you can see each one of them are going to have different pictures per level. So concourse has a picture, premier level has a different picture, octagon side has a picture. But not only did I get the concourse silver, I also got an octagon side base, Braun Breaker. So big ones. And here are the big hits. So now this is one of the unique things to select guys is what we like to call the um let me move over here for a sec so you guys can see my head. So th this is uh, the signature selection. It is the Stevie Turner rookie from NXT UK, but it is tie-dye. As you can see, if you look around it there, it, it looks like tie-dye around it, and that is to 25. So uh, it is numbered to 25 as tie-dye. I'll show you that in a second. But I pulled two massive autos out of this, out of this product, guys. So auto number one is Charlotte Flair. Ringside action to 25, red to 25. The one that's magged behind it here, let me hide it because I want to I wanna savor this. Savor this reveal for you guys. So this other auto. So first of all, let's backtrack for Stevie Turner. And you can see 4 of 25 from NXT UK for tie-dye. Okay, so there's the auto there. So Charlotte. Ringside action signature red auto, and that's going to be to 99, 29 and 99. And then probably the best wrestling auto I have pulled, and that is going to be acknowledge him. It's going to be a Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns base ringside action signatures auto. So this is a big boy hit, a real big boy hit, guys. So... I wanted to show off. That's two boxes. I'm, I'm too hot. Too, I'm two out of two here in terms of real good hits. You know, people, things that people, you know, that are going to be sought after with this. Things that are going to be worth holding on to. Um, so that's kind of the overview for select, guys. So we're going to rip one box. My third one that I have here. The third of three boxes that I got. We're going to rip it right here on the channel. And just to show you a couple, like, the relics that go with this. Because I didn't show either relic. So I got a riddle. A riddle relic. It's a base, base relic. And it says uh, the enclosed superstar worn or used material. So this is most likely by how thin it is. A shirt could have been worn to the ring. It could have been worn in a photo shoot, but it is superstar worn basically. And then my other one, I got to find it here. I have my little stack of stuff that I'm still going to top load over here. Um, let's see my other one. Is a base as well, and it is a Jey Uso from the Bloodline relic as well. So, yeah. So that kind of gives you the overview, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already.
please, please, let's get this out. I'm going to try to get out regular content, even though I'm working full time now. We're going to try to keep this up and keep this going. So without any further ado, guys, we got 60 cards to see here over 12 packs. Let's get ripping. Let's see if I can make this three for three here. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Select is honestly, it's Prism and Select 1-2 within like football um, in terms of like popularity. Um, Select can, can have a lot of good to come with it. Um, you know, I like the design, the fact that there's three different levels, the different parallels, the tricolor, you know, all that good stuff. So, you know, let me know what you think of select as a whole, you know, do you prefer select over prism? Do you think the values are going to translate over long term? All that sort of stuff. Let me know what you think about it. So one other last thing here as we get started here from a pack standpoint, because this is one of the few times we actually have uh, relics in a wrestling set. Uh, there are going to be packs if you are somehow buying regular packs, like individual packs, and it feels thick if you are a pack searcher. Um, there are fake out spacers in these. So don't think just because you uh, you got a thick boy pack that you have one of the relic in the box. You might not, and most likely don't. I think it's averaging. Like, this one's real thick. I will bet this has got a fake out spacer in it. Um, yeah, see that? You know, yep, that's a fake out spacer. You can see how thick that is. See? So I got a fake out spacer. So please, guys, fake out spacers. All right? Let me pull my packs back here. So we're starting off with Liv Morgan. Concourse. Alba Fire, or as I know her, Kaylee Ray. Alba Fire. Concourse. Veer Mahan. Base Rookie. So behind my fake out spacer is, and I already have one of these, so this is going to be fire. So Ronda Rousey tricolor, concourse tricolor. You can guys can see it as shimmer around. It's pink, white, and green there in the tricolor. So Ronda Rousey tricolor and a Harland rookie. So this is going to be level two or three. This is going to be the premier level. But we all know that he is no longer with... Um, WWE, he is now Parker Boudreaux and AEW. So from a collectability standpoint, something to, there's there can be something to that because uh, he is no longer with the company and that will most likely be his last card within WWE sets. Um, so take it for what it's worth. So there is uh, the Scopes Parallel um, Tricolor that are non-numbered parallels with this. Rhea Ripley. Blair Davenport, rookie, yes, daddy, yes, daddy, Hall of Fame selection, the greatest of all time, daddy, Dusty Rhodes. And that reminds me, guys, I will do a separate video as well talking about the Ric Flair's last match show. Uh, we'll pause for a second. It was an honor and a privilege to be able to be a part of <laughs> says Jim Crockett Promotions and the Ric Flair's last match show. So thank you to everyone that joined us on Fight TV or on Pay-Per-View for that. It was an honor and a privilege. I will do a separate video about that. I would be remiss if I didn't say that. So behind that, we got a Riddle Scopes. I'm here for that. Riddle Scopes. That's, and that's Premier Level. And then a Premier Level Natalia Base. I need to move this. So I can start making some appropriate stacks here for me. So we'll put my rookies there. My tricolor and my scopes there. Move them over here. We'll move them off screen just so I know because I will be keeping the majority of these. I'll be doing some giveaways though. Pro you know, if I may give away some of the hits from this actually on uh, whatnot. So check if you're going to plan on check me out on whatnot, check me out because uh, there could be uh, some good giveaways coming. All right. So it looks like we have our auto, or not auto, we have our relic. So this is it. You can see the red there. You guys can see the red there that, you know, it's not white. So we'll get to that last. So behind that. So this is the first time I've pulled anything of his uh, from this product. Tony D'Angelo from NXT 2.0. Uh, rookie. Silver. And, a sh and that's con uh, and this is going to be premier level. And a premier level Shinsuke Nakamura. Charlotte. Alexa, and behind Alexa is going to be our relic of the box, and that's going to be, hey, I like that, Finn Balor from Judgment Day. 
Finn Balor base relic. It's probably from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Not bad. Not bad at all. Finn Balor relic. So Finn Riddle and Jey Uso. So not bad for the relic in the relic department. We'll set him over here for the moment. And Alexa on the base. So we're still missing the autos. So this is a little thicker. So this may be fake out space out. Nope. And it looks like... Ooh, looks like we maybe have a white parallel coming up here. So DiBiase. Rikishi. So this is one of the insert sets. NXT 2.0 insert set. Raquel Rodriguez, even though she's now on SmackDown. All right. Behind that, we're going to have a parallel... All right, so it's going to be, hey, Mick Foley. Mick Foley parallel. It's going to be white. Where's my spacer? Because we'll cover what's behind it. So Mick Foley, white parallel. I don't know about the picture of him, but they had to use three different pictures. I get it. So that's going to be the 99, 84, and 99. It's going to be a concourse. So concourse, that's going to be your base level, but it is a parallel to 99. Not arguing against parallels to 99. And I will move Mick down over here and we'll come back to it. Behind that, let's see what we got here. Let me see the design. All right, so that's Octagon side and the name gave it away. First one on the name change, Gunther, the current Intercontinental Champion. This is going to show him as NXT 2.0. But we all know that he is the reigning and intercontinental champion. Or as I like to say, Der Ring General Walter from Ring Kampf. I'm very high on him as a collector. And not only that, but as a person as well. Like, I enjoyed working with him in the Evolve days. Um, you know, he was great to work with. Uh, I've had some great memories with him. So I'm very high on him. I actually got one of his Prism Autos. Uh... I think it was Prism to 99 just to hold on to. I'm going to get it graded eventually because I, I need, I'm going to that way. But I genuinely think he's going in the right direction. There, I, I have feeling it's a matter of time for they put the title on him between you and me. Well, that's a first. I have not pulled any of him yet. So Rock. Haven't pulled any Michael Cole either. Solo Sikoa rookie. That's my first on, on Solo. And a Bailey Silver Concourse. And a Jerry Lawler. Hall of Fame, premier level. So not bad. Bailey's back. She came back at SummerSlam. So uh, we're still missing two autos here, guys. We're still missing two autos. Let's see here. Do we have anything? And it doesn't look like we have anything. Okay. I've pulled way too many of this guy in three boxes. Kelly. Hey, there's a Sasha base to add to my ever-growing collection. I'm almost at a point where I really should just run the rainbow of her. Bianca Belair, and this is the phenomenon, uh, the phenomenon insert set. Phenomenon, and we got a Jerry Lawler, and that's going to be a concourse scopes, like we saw earlier. And then a Jey Uso premier level. So we'll put him put that there. Yeah, at this point now that I have a base, I mean we may as well start trying to run the Sasha Rainbow. The the one on ones are just gonna be the hardest at that at this point. You know, the way I'm going. And speak up, I know there are, there's collectors that have been wanting it. Butch, or as I know him, Pete Dunn. Pete, the first, his first card in the Butch, under the Butch gimmick on SmackDown. Keep that and top load that. Don't hinder gender. Got Tony D'Angelo. Rookie. From 2.0. And behind that, well, being in Missouri... He, uh, that'll work. Randy Orton, silver, and a Cora Jade rookie premier level. I have the base of hers. Now I have a premier level. Now I just need to get an octagon side, and I will have one of the each of, th of the three of hers on her different levels. So, well, we got five packs left, guys, and we are still missing both autos. We have an auto here, and that is that's color parallel. It doesn't look like it. 
So here we go. Xavier Woods. Eo Shirai or Eo Sky. Edge. In which way is this? We got a rookie symbol. Nope. So it's going to be a veteran. Okay, I'm all right with this. Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov. And there we go. Carmella on a premier level. But Ilya Dragunov, the current and reigning United Kingdom champion. That's going to be the 249 concourse. 35 of 249 on Ilya Dragunov. As our first color parallel. Well, second, actually, Mick and Ilya. Now I'm starting to get nervous here because did I get shorted in auto? And that is going to be fake out spacer. So we'll go ahead and take fake out spacer out of the way. And that's the first one I've pulled of him. The Undertaker. And I was fortunate enough to get to meet him finally at Ric Flair's last match show in Nashville at the Municipal Auditorium. So Undertaker. Gigi Dalim. Farouk. Behind that, we got a Santos Escobar tricolor and a Kama Mustafa premier level. I'm seeing a lot of different names in this one compared to the last. Like, we've not seen Braun Breaker. We've not seen anything. And so that is either going to be another color or another auto. And that looks like an and that looks like an octagon side. So color and octagon or an octagon side, ring side. Good lord. I can speak. Joe Gacy. Rookie Goldberg. So the insert sets. This is another one of the insert sets. Global icons. The Austrian flag for Der Ring General. And what we've got here in anyway, Valkyrie. Premier level rookie red. And what do we have behind that? Well, that'll fly for me. Charlotte ringside. But we've got Aoi Valkyrie to 149, 46 of 149 from UK Red. So it's been a UK parallel box here and then Charlotte Octagon side. So we should have an auto in each one of these or Panini's going to be hearing about it from me. And I will also send them this video to prove that I did not. And there you go. Speak of. That's a good start. I'll take that all day long. And there's one auto. Perfect. All right. So I'll take that all day long. Braun Breaker. Another rookie. Macho Man. Friend Drew McIntyre. Concourse Silver. And an Eoi Valkyrie. Premier level rookie. All right. Behind Randy. Auto one of two. Okay. Io Shirai. Io Shirai base auto. I'm okay with that. Now that she's changed her name, and is new, I have not put one of hers at all. Io Shirai is going to be auto one of two. I'm okay with that. That's definitely, and that's all right. That's a good one. So we should have one more in this to round it out for this week. We'll do a quick recap of kind of what we got here. So, and there's our other one. Is that a redemption? Nope. It is not a redemption. Good. Good, good, good. So here we go. Shinsei Nakamura. Tricolor. Open Prince. Premier Level. Mansoor. Kushida, who is with Impact, is with New Japan, back with New Japan, has been with Impact recently. So last but not least, guys, here we go. Auto number two is Ricochet. Ricochet and Io Shirai. So ringside action signatures and Io Shirai signatures. So Ricochet and Io Shirai make up our autos here on box on my box number three. I'm okay with that. I mean, I've gotten all major names. I mean, the other one that I had in my other auto uh, was uh, Montez Ford from the Street Profits on the main roster. Like, main roster guys, no UK guys or anything like that. Like, solid autos for me over three boxes. I'm going to go hunting, man. I'm eventually going to get an Austin or a Taker auto out of this. Like, I'm, I'm hell-bent on that at this point. So, Io Shirai and Ricochet. 
We got one Braun rookie. Got some color in Valkyrie. True red to 149. Ilya to 249. And then Mick to 99. We got Charlotte and Gunther ringsides along with rookies. We got tricolors and scopes. And our relic being Finn Balor for the relic. And I'm going to move Charlotte down here because the, my light is a little too bright there. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comments below. What do you think of this? What do you think for the price point? Um, you know, another first here with Panini now, with Panini having this. We got three years of this, so we'll have two more years of select uh, coming up for this. So, guys, so that'll do it for me here this week, guys. I appreciate everything. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me this week, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Share the video around, man. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I will see you guys next week. I'll have some content coming up. We'll do the complete set video. And then I will do a separate video on uh, Ric Flair's last match and my um, just my overall uh, experience with it, how it came to be, how me of all people ended up on that show. Now, if you'd have told me I'd have been on that show, I, I would have laughed at that. So uh, I'm hoping to try to maybe do something special for that. We'll see. So that'll do it for me, guys. I will see you guys next, hopefully next Friday here on the channel and Tuesday at noon Eastern on whatnot, whatnot for zebra breaks, whatnot. And that'll do it guys. Round the third and heading for home. I'll see you guys tonight on impact plus.